Up and what's up YouTube, Iron from G3 here. Today we're going to be showing you a uh, leveling guide that was put together by uh, Poland144. I'm going to show you uh, exactly what the guide is in the Reddit thread. It's put together here by Poland144. So all credit to him for putting together this nice little tool. You can see it here at the very top of the screen. I'm going to show you what it looks like in game in just a minute. But uh, basically the tool introduction is that the tool takes the zone layout images and displays them in a toggleable and cyclable view on top of the screen. It does not include the textual information included in the above guides or the images for linear zone. So I recommend reading through Treb's guide. Treb, again, all credit to Treb. He originally put together a uh, zone leveling guide that shows various uh, different zone instances and zone potential layouts. It doesn't read any data uh, from server side. It doesn't violate any of the terms of service for GGG or for uh, PoE. So all, to, all, all uh, credit to Treb's uh, original guide. And then Engineering Eternity uh, actually took uh, Treb's guide and put it into videos and displayed um, all sorts of different layouts and how to approach leveling uh, in a very efficient manner. So all credit to Treb uh, or watching uh, Engineering Eternity's videos. And I'm going to link uh, both of those things down below in the uh, information section on the video. But if you're unfamiliar with common leveling shortcuts or skips, uh, then you're going to want to read uh, those guides so that way you can familiarize yourself because what Poland 144 has done is put together all of that information that Treb compiled and that Engineering Eternity explained so helpfully through a series of YouTube videos and he's put it here into this uh, very simple macro at the top of the screen that you can see. If you notice here, it is selectable that you can have a drop down menu and you can select which act you are in and then you can select which uh, particular instance that you are in. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go over to the coast. Uh, let's actually go to the climb. Let's do the climb. Let's do that. So we're going to switch over. Now this is manually that you need to do this, but again, it's not reading any data server side. It's not violating um, any any sorts of um, GGG uh, terms of service. And so we're going to go over to the climb and we're going to take a look. Here are the two basic layouts for the climb. You can see that there's one that basically goes right and then up and then one that basically just goes up. So we're going to go ahead and follow this and we're going to see if it's any kind of accurate. Now you'll notice as you are uh, watching the guide video at the top right hand section um, of the uh, the macro, you can actually see that there are there's basically a layout for you to see when it is that your zone XP penalties are going to come into effect. So if you look, there are quest rewards that are on display, and then on the right hand side, there's the XP range that shows you what level you're at, uh, and then what zones you can be in before you're going to start. Uh, having an XP penalty uh, depending on the zone that you are in. So that's a really helpful thing to know just to know, hey, am I actually in a, a level or in a zone that I can actually progress through or am I actually having my XP nerfed? All right, so we're still in Act 1, but as you can see, we are now inside the lower prison. So we're going to swap over to the lower prison. We manually select that. And now it's going to show us four different layouts that we could potentially go through on these layout images. This is what Poland was referring to in the Reddit post saying you need to know how to read these. The blue uh, spots inside these images are the waypoints. So we see a waypoint right here and then we see the split. So it could be that we need to go to the right, but according to this far right layout, it looks like going to the right uh, is probably going to bring us up to the trial, whereas if we go to the left, uh, we're going to actually be able to progress and continue. You'll notice you can do this all throughout the game. He's even got the uh, second half with like all the Fall of Oriath stuff uh, up. If you want to go to the Vastiri Desert, you can do that. Bada boom, and you can see the different layouts that are going to populate. The Vestiri Desert's got one layout. That's it. It's just got one with the waypoint in the middle and then everything else all around it. You can go all the way to the Belly of the Beast. You can see three different layouts there. You can go to the Descent. You can see that there's just one layout with the three different bridges. You can go to the Oasis. There's two basic layouts. What a helpful and awesome tool. I know that I'm going to be using this as I'm leveling in PoE 3.3 uh, Incursion League. Uh, I typically level using uh, basically Engineering Eternity's guides and YouTube, like right next to me, or Treb's guides uh, with the images, and then basically looking from one screen to the next and going, hey, what are the different potential layouts and which direction do I need to be running? Uh, so this macro is incredibly helpful. It's going to pull up those images for you. If you don't have two monitors or you don't have two screens or you're using another screen for PoE trade or for uh, streaming, you can have everything right up inside your window and you don't even need to look elsewhere. Everything's just right for you at the very top of your screen. It's not... Um, 
intrusive, it's transparent, so you're going to see if there are enemy monsters that are coming at you, or if there's a drop that you can see, it, it's not going to cover anything up. And again, it's all customizable um, in terms of choosing which act that you're in. So if you ever want to go back and continue to level through a zone, you can always choose that. It's not like, you know, it's a, it's a pre-generated railroady sort of thing where once you've reached a certain zone, you can't go back. No, you can change whatever zone it is that you're in. So this is just an awesome guide. So thanks so much to Poland144 for putting it together and compiling everything. Thanks so much to Treb for doing all of the hard work of making um, all of the images. And then, of course, thanks uh, to Engineering Eternity for putting all together the uh, the YouTube videos. But thanks so much for putting all this together. I'm going to be using this for leveling uh, for POE Incursion. How about you? Is this something, is this a tool that you guys will use? Leave us a comment down below. And of course, you can always go and check out this Reddit thread. I'm going to leave that uh, in the information down below as well. And I'm going to leave the GitHub uh, download uh, access point in the information down below. So feel free to download. It's an awesome, awesome tool. And enjoy leveling up in 3.3 Incursion, everybody. Have a great time.